Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, ndani ya Deep Talk ya SNS Simulizi Sauti. Siku nyingine tena maalum. Tunakutana hapa. Mwendelezo wa mjadala kama kawaida. Uh, Juzikati hapa tukua na mjadala mzuli tu. Uh, kama ukuitazama, unawaza kuenda kuitazama. Na siku ya leo sita kuwa kuteki yangu. Nipo na kaka angu pale. Uh, Anaza kajitambulisha. Mika Chavala uh, kutoka Swahili Nation. Daniel House, it's to be back. Simulizi na Sauti family. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Bila kumsahau pia uh, tutakuwa na dada yetu hapa ambaye kwa siku ya leo ameamua kuvaa kimtamaduni zaidi ki Afrika. Come on now. Akaji, anaweza akajitambulisha vizuri kwa sababu tunampigia na sauti. I feel like proposing right now. <laughs> ah, that's in yeah. the building guys welcome back why all the time can introduce you guys are introducing each other first why am i not being introducing i feel like it's gender discrimination going on here like why am i not being introduced first <laughs> why is it only you guys <laughs> okay fine you know you know to me thank you <laughs> yeah so We we're going to let it pass kwa sababu leo una una umependeza vizuri sana. Leo leo it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Yeah. You know they say fancy people always come late. Ndio maana leo I can introduce mwisho mwisho eh. Yeah. I had to take my time, you know. Eh. Sorry. Like entrance. <laughs> no, but, but I want to ask you this question that what inspired you kuva Oliver Vaz? Kwa sababu the way ume mix is it two different kitenge pale is is it hereni zako kubwa? Shati yako unajua makeup and and everything man it's like oh god no oh, thank you thank you guys no i love actually i mean i gave you often very very often um mm. but today i felt like doing it kwa sababu topic ya leo inaendana with these things and yeah. psg ocean really but let's not talk about that let's let's stick <laughs> to the <laughs> to the glory of it but sure, i love I'm... it i love it napenda kununua like nikienda tanzania kila nikirudi tanzania always narudi na nguo fulani za vitenge na shonesha I love to mm. represent my people and I love ngozetu they're so colorful they're so spicy they bring out kalazetu ngozetu like I love everything about it so yeah ningekuwa na shop ya kusema ati ningeenda kununua like these kind of things my whole closet ingekuwa just african attire love it absolutely come on now come on now just stop just stop just stop <laughs> mika is so patriotic mika na africa is like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, okay. no, no, I, I don't want to cry right now. So just, just <laughs> We're dedicating this session to Mika because topic ya leo. Yeah, sure. Topic ya leo. Topic ya leo tunaenda kuongelea nini? Who wants to introduce it? We should give Mika the microphone to introduce the topic. Because tumpatie Mika I introduce the topic since topic ita, itakuwa ina mosu yeye zaidi zaidi. So tutambulishie mm-hmm. topic kwa siku ya leo. Guys, leo tunazungumzia kuhusu experience in Africa versus experience in the Western world. Mm. Now, of course, tuna tuna panel nzuri sana hapa imekaa leo kwa sababu tuna mwaka mmoja hapa, of course, wa Africa wote watatu. Ila tuna mwaka mmoja halisi ambaye ame, amekulia, amezaliwa, amesomea, amekulia Africa. Hajawahi kutoka nje ya Africa. Yeye ni Africa. Yaani ukimwona yeye ni definition ya Africa. Halafu pia tuna Muafrika mwingine ambaye ame sisi kama ni leo vizuri amekulia na anaishi in the western world. Yupo huko ndio amekuja ame visit Africa lakini maisha yake mengi ame outside of Africa. Lakini pia tuna Muafrika mwingine ambaye ni mimi hapa. Kwa sinilizaliwa Africa, nikakulia Africa mpaka nilipokuwa na miaka 19 alafu naondoka nikaenda kwenye sasa hapo sio western world again eastern world guys never some western world manake outside of africa anywhere nikaenda nimekaa huko kwa miaka tisa, hatimaye nimerudi nyumbani kwa hiyo tuna tuna, tuna yani tuna, tuna panel nzuri sana kwa sababu tuna tuna, yani tuna experience kila mahali na kwa topic mm. ya leo tunayo kila mmoja wetu anadhani ataweza kuleta uh, mchango mkubwa sana ambao utatupa mawazo kwa mfano mm. vitu ambavyo nataka tuongelee leo tunataka tuongelee kwa nini watu wanatamani kukimbilia you know western in the western world kuna nini mm. huko dati na mimi of course mtu wako hapa tutaweza kupa experience ya huko tuliko mm. tembelea huko aliko kwamba hali iko mm. nyumbani mm. hali iko kwa nini watu wakimbia siku za kwa nini wasikie hapa nyumbani 
mfumo wetu ukoje bwana poa atatupa hayo mambo kwamba bwana hapa nyumbani ni mambo haya na haya ndio maana vijana wengi nataka tukimbilie kwa mfano mimi poa nataka nikimbilie korea na vipi kama hivyo kwa hiyo watu tutapeana experience mbalimbali ili kwamba mtu siku tuwe tunaofahamu kubwa kuelewa kwamba okay kama unataka kuondoka this is what you should expect Mm. Um, we Africa could expect come out you will find a better life outside mm. of Africa. No no you might you might live here and go to the United States and die there. All right? Mm. <laughs> Just because you're black. So tutapeana hizi experience zote ambazo zitakupa ufahamu na wewe kufahamu vizuri who you are as an African like mm. you what you expect you know when you go outside of Africa. What kama mm. sisi tuko rudi hapa na najua dart nayo anapiga kurudi kwa hiyo kuna vitu vingi hapa tutakupa maelezo tutakupa ufahamu na itakuwa one of the best session you have ever seen come on mm-hmm. the patriotic mika is out there come on somebody let's give you a salute <laughs> mika well, that, that, that is my african clothes right there that's my african clothes today <laughs> nakupa nakupa salute ila sijapenda utambulisho utambulisho wako <laughs> Sema nini hujapenda Paul? Why? It's like you are cursing me like mm. alizaliwa hapa hapa, akakulia hapa hapa, na alizaliwa kuishi hapa hapa. But you know what? Pia so mbaya because you get like a full circle of of Nyumbani, right? Mm-hmm. Like in a little mm-hmm. perspective nyingine. And inshallah kusafiri it's like kusafiri utasafiri you know for you have a bright future you're very very smart like the world is your oyster unaanza ndo kwanza unaanza so i mean ameenda zanzibar amesha safiri ameenda zanzibar mika ni mchokozi that's more than kusafiri man okay. zanzibar is beautiful by the way sisi tunaruka ga huku kwenda zanzibar so yeah. zanzibar See? is amazing Everybody wants to go to Zanzibar. So Paul, yeah. you have more than enough. Using using ndugu yangu kan tumia picha kana train walikuwa na market um, Zanzibar. So by the way Zanzibar is an amazing place iko nchi yetu kwa hiyo tujivunie right? Kama umekwenda Zanzibar yeah. it's yeah. it's the place to be. Tell Indeed. me Paul, I want to know from your perspective to ambia wa kwanza like why do you think kwanza do you have this thing wewe unataka kuondoka kutoka Africa kwenda Europe yes or no and then why do you think unadhani watu wengi ambaye wako youth wana hamu ya kwenda Europe au wana hamu ya kuondoka Africa Labda kabla kabla sijazungumza mimi naomba ni ni kwa sababu na naomba nimuulize swali bro Mm. Yaani au maswali niahamishe kwa blo kwa sababu blo ni yeye ni mtu ambaye alikuwa huku na akaondoka. Na najua mm. kwa mara ya kwanza kabla hajaondoka ni mtu ambaye ishakuwa na zile feeling kama na sisi wengi tulionazo. Mm. Kwa sababu nakumbuka shekhe kuni, kunisimulia kidogo the way alivyo alivyo receive zile information kwamba anahitaji kwenda imekuwa ime successful kwenda kusomea kule. Like kwa hiyo atuambie yeye kwamba by that moment kabla hajaondoka kwa sababu aliniambia alikuwa anashauku ya kutaka kwenda kule na na kafanikiwa akaenda kule. Kwa atuelezee kidogo kwamba yeye before hajaondoka ile shauku ilikuwaaje na baada ya kufika kule pia kile alichokuwa na expect tena alikiona. Mm. Alafu then nazungumza. Nashukuru na, na, na nashukuru sana. Nashukuru sana ndugu mtangazaji Paul Kilaga sio. Um, <laughs> kwa kweli kabla sijaondoka mimi nilikuwa na mpango. <laughs> na mpango wangu ulikuwa nilikuwa nilikuwa tayari na dream na dream kwa nini nataka niende kusoma nje nilikuwa nataka niende nikajifunze uh, kwa nini Korea iko mahali iliyopo na kwa nini Tanzania tupo mahali ambapo Korea ipo kwa sababu miaka 50 60 iliyopita sisi sote tulikuwa tuna uchumi sawa sawa kwa hiyo wakati nataka kusoma nje haukuwa tu mkumbo kwamba nataka niende kusoma nje kwa sababu kila mtu anataka kusoma nje ni kwa sababu nilikuwa na malengo kwa wakati ule kuna dream ambayo nilikuwa nayo ambayo kwa sasa sitataka kuisema na nikasema in order for me to achieve this dream kubadilisha nchi yangu lazima niende nitoke nje nipate experience kwa sababu naona nchi kama Korea imefanikiwa sana na tulikuwa na uchumi sawa miaka 60 iliyopita kwa hiyo hilo ndio lilikuwa ni lengo langu wakati ina apply fanya application kwa kule asi hivyo tu lakini pia nilikuwa na ile excitement unajua kwamba sijawahi kutoka Afrika unajua nataka mm-hmm. nitoke niangalie hiyo hizo hizo nchi za wenzetu zikoje you know, unaona mm-hmm. labda maisha kama mazuri unajua labda vitu mbalimbali nitapata mipesa na vitu kama hivyo unajua una, una hizi ndoto za alinacha unazo sana kichwani unapotoka mm-hmm. Afrika unahisi kama unatoka jana unaingia mbinguni 
Mm. Yaani hizo vitu ambavyo siku zote unajua vipo kwa, kwa vile ambavyo image ya Afrika imekuwa distorted mm. na imekuwa tu ambapo sisi wa Afrika wenyewe hatutamani kukaa Afrika. Kwa hiyo natamani ku, kukimbia. Ni kweli kuwa na motivation na kuwa na kujifunza na kujiandaa kwa sababu ya baadaye kuja kuitumikia nchi yangu. Mpango wangu ulikuwa ni huo kutoka, alafu nije kurudi. Yaani that was mm. my plan. Niondoke alafu nirudi. Uh, kwa hiyo plan yako haikuwa kwenda moja kwa moja. Oh, never. Pa. Okay, Apa, exactly. kwa moja. Plan yangu yeah. ilikuwa ni 5 years, yani kuondoka after 5 years nirudi. Of, mm. of course nikaenda kule nilivyoenda kule, of course mara ya kwanza naingia naota vitu vya ajabu, yani yani huoni huoni vumbi, unaona eh? Unatembea tembea nje. Huoni vumbi. Yaani una yani ilifika hatua nikamiss yani vumbi, yani kasa vumbi liko hapo jamani, I miss vumbi. Unaona? Mtu upate hata mafua ya vumbi. Unapata mafua ya baridi. <laughs> Upate mafua ya kumbi. Yaani hata ngozi yenyewe inaanza kubadilika na vitu yeah. kama hiyo. Uh, lakini pia miezi miwili ya kwanza ilikuwa ni shida sana kwa sababu nilikuwa na, na, na miss Tanzanian food unaona na vyakula vyakula nilikuwa sivielewi. Kwa hiyo miezi ya kwanza ile miwili ilikuwa ni hatari sana. Yaani nilikuwa yaani spend nilifika hata ni nikawa nalia nikawa nasema nataka nirudi nyumbani kwa sababu nilikuwa ile homesick. I miss home. I miss the food back home. I miss my mama. I love my mama. She's my baby girl. Kwa kwa sababu ya hivyo vyote nikaanza mm-hmm. kuondoka lakini baada ya miezi miwili of course nikawa nimeadjust kwa sababu culture ya kule pia ni tofauti. Na hata watu sio so kama nyumbani amewezi kuwa marafiki na vitu kama hivyo. Kwa hiyo baada ya miezi miwili nikawa nimesha adjust. Nikawa nimeshakubaliana nali kwamba unajua nini? Kama ukinipa mbui na mimi nakupa mbui kwa sababu watu wote wanatembea nao yani watu wataki hata kusalimia unajua eh? Yaani huku mm-hmm. huku mtu anatembea na kusalimia sana kule nilipofika nikajua ni mambo haya hayo yanachana wale za hey hi how are you so what are you hello i go who is this guy yeah it was a kind of loose the again to yeah. me i became i changed i became someone else because i wanted to adjust it was really hurting me like ili na niuma kwa hiyo nikataka ni adjust na vile jinsi ambavyo culture yao iwepo ili niwe nifanane kama wao umeona baada lakini kusema ukweli vitu ambavyo nilivigemea kwamba kwa, kwangu mimi yani sijui kwangu mimi na nadhani kwangu mimi cha msingi sana kitu cha msingi sana ni ile tu yani ile family ship yani yani ile community yani unapokuwa mm-hmm. na watu unajua unapo hang now yani unapopata yani yani ile kwangu mimi ndio ilikuwa ina mean a lot to me lakini nilipofika pale sio kitu ambacho yani sio sio culture yao kwa sababu ninayenyewe na culture yao wenyewe umeona sio culture yao kwa hiyo ilinipa vigumu sana yani kutokuwa na uwezo wa ku you know ya ku interact na watu yani na, na kuzungumza au kuwasalimia na vitu kama hivyo kwa sababu ya also barrier of language na na, na vitu kama hivyo ilikuwa ni shida kidogo uh, mara ya kwanza lakini pia unapokuja kwenye swala la ubaguzi ubaguzi ndio ilikuwa ni jambo kubwa sana sana nakumbuka siku moja sitaweza kuja kusahau siku moja nimeenda tu supermarket nanunua vitu na na sukuma lile na nilangu kuna hii supermarket moja inaitwa Imat na sukuma na nilangu kwenye supermarket alafu kuna kuna watu walikuwa hapo mbele yangu kama walikuwa hapo mbele yangu wakaka hivi nyuma yani waliponiona tu mimi mtu yani amegeuka nyuma tukafanya hivyo yani yani sio kama nimeenda na mstuo wa kwamba eh a a mimi natuzunguka tu ila mtu amezuka mtu yani yani amepiga kile huko ni mimi mwa Afrika nilijisikia vibaya sana siku hiyo. Na tulikuwa tu nilikuwa niko mimi nilikuwa niko na Mgana na Uganda. Nilijisikia vibaya sana. Yaani nilijisikia vibaya sana nikasema, yani mimi ni sasa ile sio kitu ambacho nili experience mara moja, ni kitu ambacho nili experience mara nyingi. Of course sio wote ta experience kutoka wote, lakini zile experience ndio zilianza kunifanya mimi nianze kuipenda Afrika zaidi kwa sababu nikaanza kujua kwamba oh when you're outside of Africa sio Mika tena, sio Mtanzania tena. Ila ninyi wote ni wa Afrika. Mm. Yaani hata kama kwa black american yana kwa wewe ni mwafrika yani haijalishi mm. tukia bila kama una ngozi hii nyeusi hii hii kwangu mm. unajua ni kwa kwangu watakuwa yani utakuangalia kwa namna ya tofauti mm. kwa hiyo sasa hii ndio ilinipa uchungu sana wa kuikumbuka nyumbani kama nyumbani yani man i was celebrated mm. yani, about, no i was celebrated for who mm. i am lakini kwa nini hapa ninaonekana kama I, i've been treated kama ni kama ni, 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 ni wash than mnyama kwa sababu wanyama mm. wanachukua wana vizuri umeona ya msingi kwangu ilikuwa ni rahisi sana mimi kuishi kule na mm. kutafuta kwenda maeneo mengine tena kuishi kila nikawa nataka mm. nikipie Afrika mm. kwa nini kwa sababu nahisi na naona mbona watu hawajali kwa sababu usema muda eh hakuna mtu anayejali sasa preparation hakuna mm. mtu anayejali 
difficult decision, oh my goodness, you will be the only one making difficult decision. Ukisema uzunguko kweli, utakuwa ni peke yako na zunguza kweli. Wengine wanaogopa, wanapiga midomo yao, wanataka kupata matatizo. Sasa mimi nitakuja kwenye haya mazingira. Siweza ta kuzungumza. Haya mambo nasikia yaendelee vizuri, sasa hivi na utasiu meme, hamna siu maji, hamna una mao mengi. Uweze ta kuzungumza, mtu anaogopa kuzungumza. Kwa nini kwa sababu unaogopa sisi serikali tutasema nini? Sasa hivi vitu mimi vipo na nikiza nikasema sitaweza kuitumikia Afrika nikiwa Afrika. Ndio maana nikawa naogopa. Sasa baada ya kujiuliza hayo maswali nikajua kwamba I cannot fight for my people outside of my people's place. I cannot do that. Go mm. what I can say is that guys where you are right now. Hapo ulipo sasa hivi. Ni bora sana kuliko pale unapofikiria. I got you. Unahisi kwamba uko na hiyo feeling kwamba unataka kutoka Afrika ama ulishaye kuwa na hiyo feeling ya kusema nataka kutoka Afrika na kwa nini? Yeah, hiyo feeling ipo uh, asilimia mia ya kutoka nje ya bara la Afrika. Mm. Unajua kuna kuna expectation fulani, ni kwa mfano kama mtu kama labda unampenda Diamond. Kuna namna unampa save like huyu Diamond anakuaje huyu? Huyu Diamond pratu anakuaje? Mm. Kiasi kwamba hadi kuna sababu unatamani like kimuona eh, je kila ambacho na kiwaza ndivyo kitakavyokuwa ni mm. tema ambavyo mimi na navyo na, navyohitaji kutoka nje ya bara la Afrika the way people talk about them. western or asian or east whatever lakini vile ambavyo watu wanazungumza na watu waliopo kule hicho ndio kitu ambacho mimi kinacho nisukuma like hiyo experience iliyopo huko ndio nayohitaji na mimi nikaipate hiyo ambapo kila siku toka nimekuwa paka sasa hivi watu wanaizungumzia na nayoiona ndio kitu ambacho kinanisukuma mimi kwenda kule. Mm. Mmekuelewa. Kwa hiyo kuna kwa kama fantasy fulani, yani kuna image yeah, fulani, yeah. 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 So what wewe unadhania katika hiyo fantasy kuna nini? Kuna nini ambayo unadhania kule ipo ambayo Afrika hamna, ambayo something I think one of those things ambayo iko obvious ni economy, kwamba yeah. pesa, right? Yaani kutoka kwenye ile shida ya kila siku get a little bit more financial stability. Kuna kitu kingine ambaye nakuvutia kusema kwamba nataka nitoke Afrika kwa sababu ya ichi kuna experience plan ninatafuta. Mm, kwangu mimi ni lifestyle maybe lifestyle mm. like kama watu wanavyoishi mm. uh, pia ni kitu ambacho like natamani pia kukifahamu kuki, kuki, zaidi. Alafu kitu kingine ni like kukutana na watu tofauti you no? Know? Kuishi mm. na mtu ambaye like, mwenye rangi tofauti na kaka yangu. Kwa mm. the new experience like living with kuna watu wengine ambao ni tofauti kabisa ambao hujawahi kukutana nao. Unaposema lifestyle unamaanisha nini? Unamaanisha mfumo wa maisha jinsi watu wanavyoishi. Ndio kuna nini ambayo unaona western world wana lifestyle tofauti na Afrika ambaye nakuvutia what exactly uh, wajibikaji hmm umeswa wajibi wajibikaji i mean uh, responsibility like ufanyaji utendaji wao wa kazi yani hicho ni kitu ambacho mm. nahisi sana kinacho kinacho nivutia like when it comes to job kwa mfano ni kuna 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 one of my my my, my sister yuko Uh, yuko 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 Australia. Mm. Like na yeye yupo na wadogo zake, yupo kwenye age kama ya kwangu, lakini ni mtu ambaye uh, anasoma na ukia, ukia ni kikubwa kuliko hata cha kwangu mimi mwenyewe. Mm. Ana gari, ana nyumba, lakini mm. nikiwa namuuliza like unafa, unawezaje wewe kufanya vitu kama hivyo like kwa umri mm. kama huwa kwangu mimi hata simu nayotumia sasa hivi ni ni ni, ni kicheko. Mm. Anani the way anavyonielezea anavyonielezea naona kabisa kuna utofauti kabisa, yeah. yani utofauti kabisa. Like huyo ni mtu ambaye hayupo siri, yani, ni mtu ambaye hayupo siri ya sasa na maisha kwa kule, lakini ana vitu mm. kama hivyo. Je, kwa mm. wale ambao serious like wamefocus, wame, wameweka mikakati yao, maisha yao yanaendaje? Yana mm. Kwa hicho ni kitu ambacho kina, kinanipa hamasa like okay. Hawa ni watu ambao wako wako serious na na, mm. na, 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 na maisha una kazi ambazo wanazifanya. Uwezo wakuta mtu like kwenye umri kama wako tu sisi like kwa vile ambavyo ninavyosikia na, na, like uwezo wakuta like kwenye umri kama wangu wa, wa mimi like maana si kwa kuta asilimia mia ya vijana ambao wenye umri kama wangu wa, wa, wa mimi kwenye asilimia manini hawana kazi na mambo na vitu wanavyovifanya ndio hivyo ni kwenda kucheza kucheza magame 
ni kwenda kuzurua mitaani basi hakuna kitu kingine wanachokifanya mm. tupo tunakula unaambia kwenye asilimia 80 waweza kukuta vijana walio wengi lazima atakuwa na kazi yeah au kwa mfano hilo swala kuna swala mbona unakuta unakuta mtu kwa siku labda anafanya kazi kama nne au tano anatoka kazi ya anaenda kazi nyingine anatoka kazi ya anaenda kazi nyingine kitu ambacho huko akipo na hata kama kipo kipo katika asilimia asilimia chache na hakipo kwa nini hakipo kwamba hakuna ambao uwezekano wa kufanyika hivyo vitu havipo uwezekano upo dhoni kwa katika asilimia ndogo kwa sababu hata kuna watu kadhaa nimeshakutana nao wanambia inafanya kazi pale na hapa nikitoka nitaenda sehemu na wapo huku inawezekanaje ah mwanangu tafuta 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 mm. bwana anaekana mtu watu kuna watu wanafanya hivyo na wengine ndio hivyo tena kwenye hizo asilimia 80 hakuna ambao wanafanya kabisa so mm. so yeah nimekuelewa nimekuelewa you absolutely right yani kuna vitu vingine ambaye viko Afrika ambaye haviko western world na kuna vitu vingine viko western world ambaye haviko Afrika sasa yeah. ni mtu ku, ku balance zile pros and cons kusema mimi naegemea wapi right or for what period of time naegemea wapi so you're absolutely right i got you me i would say pia na agree in certain degrees yani what the me touch points ambaye mimi naweza nikasema yeah i can i can relate naweza nikafahamu watu wawili like me come point many things actually ambaye i can say and even you um paul like you say structure hiyo i would say like okay kazi 4 5 is unrealistic mtu kwenda kwa siku moja lakini at least unaweza ukaona mtu ana kazi tatu um pingine haendi zote tatu kwa siku moja lakini kwa wiki anaweza kazi touch zote tatu right lakini we don't we don't um I would say we don't glorify struggle because hiyo pia ni struggle right kufanya kazi tatu kwa mara moja ni ni struggle kwa hiyo I wouldn't glorify that so much lakini what that represents ni kwamba kuna opportunity right kuna structure ni kwamba unaweza kutoka point A to point B kama unataka unaweza kujikamua na kwenda kama unataka versus Africa mimi najua watu wengi ambao wamesoma ambaye ndugu zangu wamesoma wana ma lawyers ma doctors ma nini ambaye like wana cheti lakini hawana kazi ama wanacheti lakini kazi wanayofanya ha represent really ile cheti ambayo walisomea you know yeah, sure, so sure. that's that's the problem hakuna ile opportunity na hakuna structure ya kusema wapi unaenda kutafuta kazi for example western world wana structure kwamba kuna sehemu ambayo unaweza ukaenda office wanakusaidia kutafuta kazi ama kuna website ambaye iko specially only kwa kutafuta kazi kwamba kila bosi anaenda pale na announce kwamba mimi nina kazi fulani eh, natafuta se, mtu fulani na yule mtu ambaye anatafuta na kwenda na sema okay mimi na apply kitu ambaye iko very mobilize na iko very structured versus mm. africa unapotafuta kazi yani lazima utumie nguvu zako nyingi kwenda yeah. kwa uku, kule 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 just to make sure umepata kazi na ukipata hiyo kazi hakuna ile structure ya safety ya kazi yako ina maana yule bosi ambaye amekuajiri kesho anaweza akakufaya kesho anaweza akakufukuza kazi kwa hiyo ndio unakuta hiyo vitu kama mika anavyosema mtu anaogopa kufanya ile maumuzi ama anaogopa kuongea ama anaogopa kuwa na msimamo anaogopa kuwa yeye kama yeye kwa sababu anaogopa itakuwaje aidha serikali watanifunga ama mtakosa um, kazi ama yani kuna consequences nyingi ambayo mtu anafanya inamrudisha nyuma the thing about human beings ni kwamba tunapokosa ile autonomy to be ourselves pia tunajisahau ina maana afrika wengi tunatembea tuna, tuna kama collective yani hatuna ile maamuzi tunaenda tu tunapopelekwa right kwa sababu kila mtu anapoogopa when you don't exercise that right of freedom ndio inakuwa hivyo so i think pia inatuvunja in another structure ndio maana pia tunakuta pingine afrika tume tuko nyuma sana in certain things because hakuna ile power of say right hiyo naweza nika agree another thing ambayo naweza nika agree uh, planning hatuna planning sana yani ni leo kwa leo kama unavyosema pa mtu anaweza kaenda leo ameamka mtaani anaenda anaongea bla bla hamna ile plan kusema kwamba wiki hii kuna hichi wiki ijayo kuna hichi mwezi ujayo kuna hichi two years from now kuna hichi we don't plan and we don't respect time kama unavyosema uh, another thing ambaye all these things pia ina create kutokana na ile autonomy is hierarchy 
Yani hierarchy nimeona sana iko tofauti Western world na Afrika. Afrika tuko sana kena hierarchy. Maana kuna mtu ambaye ni bosi, mwingine yuko hapa, mwingine yuko hapa, mwingine yuko hapa. Kuna mzazi, kuna mtoto, yani tunapenda ile mtu yuko chini ya mtu versus Western world Yaani mtu hata kama ni mfanyakazi ana mdomo wa kuongea na bosi. You know, kwa sababu anajua haki zake kwamba bosi hawezi tu kanifukuza kazi. Ovyo, yani kuna kuna system ambayo itamprotect yule mfanyakazi. Kwa hiyo hamna ile hierarchy, hakuna ile tinamuona bosi wangu ama nikimuona bosi wangu na muogopa. No, it's like mi pia najua kama yeye ananihitaji. Yes, ananihitaji kwa kazi yake. So, tunakwenda hivi level. Right even though hierarchy iko kila sehemu duniani lakini kuna nchi zingine ambaye tuna respect hierarchy zaidi than certain cultures Another thing I would say with this hierarchy as well in a create society tofauti society Africa to come more um, socially versus in western to come more individualistic meaning kila mtu anajitegemea mwenyewe kila mtu ana the own system yani in western world ni kwamba mimi najilisha mwenyewe najivisha mwenyewe nafikiria mwenyewe eh, so hamna ile ti nikiwa na shida naweza nikaenda kwa ndugu yangu kusema oh na shida mwezi huu naomba unisaidie yani kila mtu mwenyewe kwa mwenyewe kwa hiyo unakuta hata kwenye maamuzi mengine unakuwa na ile freedom ya kusema ah nitafanya mwenyewe right lakini nakuvunja in a sense pia kuna sometimes in life tunahitaji ile socially sisi we are social creatures kwa hiyo unakosa ile naweza nikakupa example mtu akifa Afrika mtu akifa is like tunaenda tuna yani tunakusanyika right kuna system ambayo watu wanakusanyika tunalia pamoja tunakaa pamoja watu wanaweza kukaa wiki nzima mwezi mzima yani siku ngapi sijui versus in Europe ukifiliwa na mtu wako wallahi unaweza kukaa peke yako wiki mbili mpaka mtu aje kupa pole na akija kupa pole pingine anakuja saa moja akuja anaondoka hakuna ile sosh yani hakuna ile umoja ambaye naweza nikasema ina uzuri wake kama ninavyosema nakupa autonomy lakini na ubaya wako kwamba it keeps you isolated na afrika uzu, ubaya wake ile hakuna ile individualistic ni kwamba unakuta mtu anashindwa kufanya maamuzi kama hana ile support ya family yake kama hana support ya society yake watu ambao anaishi nao karibu na The good thing about it pingine ni kwamba panapokuwa na shida tunamzunguka yule mtu and we all come together. Mm-hmm. What else do we have? Weather kama Mika alivyosema jamani to see under arrestimate weather. Wallahi si wafichi weather in affect mental state so much. Kupata ile jua D vitamin especially ngozi zetu. Ngozi zetu know that melanin gets charged by sun. Yaani ngozi zetu zinahitaji jua. Na mda kama huu, yani mimi nika Europe, November, December, January, February. Ngozi yangu inababuka. Yani I I swear it's not the same. Yani na kwa yellow, na kwa gray versus nikija Afrika bila kupaka mafuta. It's like you're shining, right? Bila kufikiria sana asubuhi, siku imeanza, jua iko nje. Yani unaamka tu unatoka unatoka kitandani unaenda na siku yako versus hapa umeamka giza hamna jua yani unaona ni usiku ni asubuhi hujielewi right unaamka like umechoka <laughs> umechoka because you don't see the sun you don't see enough of the sun i swear to god mwaka huu nimenunua like an ipad ambaye inakupa fake sun Yaani nanipa jua yani wameitengeneza kama jua yani iwe nakupa jua because what happens during the winter tuna sun pingine masaa tano. Masaa tano haitoshi. Unakuta mtu mimi niko ndani nafanya kazi ina maana mimi sijaona jua siku nzima. Mentally we fikiria siku ya kwanza hujaona jua, siku ya pili hujaona jua, wiki moja hujaona jua, wiki ya tatu mwezi mmoja kunaanza depression. So jua is like a lot of things pamoja na chakula kama kaka Mika alivyosema vyakula vyetu Africa fresh Huko mm-hmm. Scandinavian chemicals hamna cha fresh unakula tunda haina ladha Right una yani vitu havina ladha lakini uzuri wake ni kwamba Scandinavian pingine tuseme misi na shida ya chakula ni kwamba kila siku nina uhakika kama nitakula na kila siku nina uhakika naweza nkala chochote nachotaka right versus pingine mtu mwingine ambaye yuko umri wangu Afrika angekuwa peke yake 
ingekuwa ile mambo ya kwanza mm. yani kila siku pingine kuna ile shida ama kila wiki unafikiria leo nitakula nini familia tutakula nini afu Afrika pia huwezi kupanga kwa budget mi pingine mwezi huu nimejua mwezi wangu pingine uko tight December kuna mambo mengi kwa hiyo naweza nikaplan budget yangu ya chakula kusema itakuwa hivi Afrika mna budget Afrika umeka budget jirani leo kaja kesho mjomba kaja you know budget imevunjika <laughs> Africa now panga budget na panga budget ya ya nini na what is that with excessive baba kama yes. ningepanga chakula cha kwangu mimi napanga chakula cha poo kwa sababu najua naweza katokea muda wote kwa nyama zangu yeah. oh baada ya kupika robo ninapika uh, kilo moja na ndio nimepika sasa hivi kwa sababu poo amekuja leo kula nyama zangu kwa hiyo <laughs> <laughs> lakini nataka nisema hivi kitu nitaka challenge kitu kimoja ambacho ni nini ni cha msingi sana mm. labda niulize hivi hapa sisi tuliopo hapa wangapi hapa wana nyumba au wangapi hapa au yeah, wangapi hapa wana kiwanja na wote ambao wanaangalia hii nani hii 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 nini hii hii uh, hi episode do you guys have houses mm. or do you guys have like uh, field au kiwanja viwanja ambavyo vya kwenu nyinyi wenyewe uki kwa mfano nchi ambayo mimi nimeishi hakuna mtu ana nyumba hakuna mtu na kiwanja watu hawamiliki nyumba hawamiliki viwanja watu wana <coughs> apartment yeah apartment ambazo wanalipa kila mwezi ni kama hii nyumba ninayoishi mimi ya kupanga ndizo wanazoishi kila mtu unayemuona hawamiliki hata kiwanja au hata nyumba kwa nini kwa sababu ni gharama here in africa i'm saying this kwa sababu nataka watu wasi don't look down on yourself man wewe kuwa na kiwanja chako mwenyewe africa au kuwa na kibanda chako nyumba yako mwenyewe umejenga hata kama ya matope una kiwanja kila nyumba umejenga ni utajiri mkubwa sana sana wetu huko hawana na hawezi kumiliki hawawezi kabisa kumiliki wewe kuwa na nyumba yako wewe kuwa na kiwanja chako ni utajiri mkubwa sana don't look down on yourself africa we are not who they say we are kwa mm. utajiri wao na utajiri wetu ni tofauti. Kitu kingine ambacho ninachotaka kuambia, magari wanaoendesha. Nchi ambayo mimi nimekaa, nyumba ambayo alizo nakaa. Karibia zote mkopo. Nilikuwa nataka kusema hivyo hivyo. Eh? Yeah. Nilikuwa nataka nisemee hivyo hivyo. Yeah. Wanachukua mikopo wananunua magari. Wanachukua yeah. mikopo hata nyumba anayopanga kwa sababu gharama ni kubwa wanapanga na wanaishi yani kazi wanayofanya, wanaishi miaka yote kulipa mikopo ambayo wametumia kama mm. wana, wana, watoto wameenda shule ni mikopo kama ni gari yamenua kwa hiyo unavuta magari mengi nje yale yote watu wamechukua mikopo ni wachache sana yeah. ambao wananunua watu wote na wanaishi maisha yao yote kulipa yale madeni sasa huku nyumbani yeah. wewe mtu na kibaskiri chako licha kwako unakanyaga yeah. unatembea ni wewe unatembea siku unaenda kula unalala kibanda chako man wewe ni tajiri kwa namna isikuwa ya kawaida kama na ndo maana huko ni stress nyingi nchi ambayo mimi nimetoka duniani inaongoza kama si namba moja basi namba mbili kwa watu kujiua. Yeah, no Sweden as well. Yeah. Sweden uh, unaona Sweden, Sweden katika mm-hmm. nchi za Europe ni katika tajiri, right? Scandinavia mm-hmm. in general, katika Europe mm-hmm. Scandinavia ni katika nchi ambazo ziko tajiri ambaye quality That's of true. life, standard of life ya kwetu iko juu. Yaani vitu viko juu. Lakini sasa watu ambao wanajua tunaongoza mm-hmm. number one because kuna ile depression right depression inatokea na vitu vingi kama tulivyosema vya kula eh, jua na hiyo kama unavyosema economy yani hapo kakamika amewapa point ambaye mm. take it to heart nilikuwa nataka nirudi hapo eh, Paul, maana Paul alisema yule ndugu yake ambaye ana you know mm. ana, ana kila kitu anaweza ka nilikuwa nataka kukwambia gari yake pingine amekopa 99.9 yeah. 0.9% mm. tukinunua gari tunakopa mm. 99.99 mimi nimenunua for example apartment yangu hapa nimekopa mm. majority of the pesa ya kununua hii apartment right mm. japokuwa inaongezeka inaongezeka value kila mwaka mm. nikiuza napata benefit lakini mm. still sio ya kwangu moja kwa moja nimenunua kiwanja Afrika ni ya kwangu moja kwa moja siku ambayo nikija nikijenga pale it's like simlipi mtu kichochote right ni mm. yani One thing, one of the biggest biggest investments ni mwambie wa Afrika wenzangu like if you guys want to invest in something, invest in land. Achana na kila kitu because duniani tena there will not be creation. Hawatatengeneza land nyingine. Yeah. 
right hata sema yeah. okay dunia iko full subiri tuape dunia nyingine let's get a land unapokuwa yeah. na land haitegemei kama utakuwa na uwezo wa kujenga mwenyewe ama atakuja mtu mwingine kujenga lakini mm. ardhi kama ni ya kwako unamiliki wewe you're rich Mm. Like this is the biggest wealth ambayo unaweza kuwa nayo na ni kitu ambayo waafrika wengi tuko nayo lakini hatujijui. Um. Misi wafichi Zanzibar, yani watu wa Zanzibar wangekuwa wanajijua wameshika ardhi gani, wasingekuwa na user hivi, wanavuuza sasa hivi. Mimi nimeenda yeah. for example enungwi kule, wa Italy wamebeba, wa China wamebeba, wa Russia wamebeba. Afu mimi naangalia na mbea wa Tanzania mngekuwa mnajua hii ardhi ilivyokuwa valuable. Yaani hatu hatu hatuoni value yetu na hatuoni thamani yetu. Ngine ni washauri kitu ambayo mimi nakitafuta kufanya sasa hivi. Sasa hivi mimi niko Europe na kusanya hela zangu ila mimi ni ninue viwanja vyangu Afrika niwe niko sawa. You know like my whole plan ni kwamba nirudi Afrika ama niwe na vitu vyangu Afrika because richness iko pale. Yeah. Sasa hivi nikisema eti ninue kiwanja eh, sehemu Dar es Salaam nitatafuta sehemu tuseme Sinza mimi napenda Sinza familia yangu iko Sinza siwezi pale kwa sababu hela yangu haitoshei you know niseme niende Masaki siwezi kwa sababu hela yangu toshei so something ambayo unaweza ukafanya kama mtu unaona okay hela yangu haitoshei ni kwamba kuangalia 10 years from now kuna area gani ambayo mimi nadhani itakuja kupanda for yeah. example pale Masaki anko wangu linaambia wakati Masaki inauzwa enzi zile ilikuwa ni pori ilikuwa ni pori alafu ilikuwa ina nyoka watu walikuwa na goma kununua kuna kuna ndugu yake alinunua watu walikuwa na mcheko anambia unaenda kununua kule kuna nyoka hakuna kitu leo masaki hapashikiki you know so unaangalia sehemu ambayo unajua itakuja kutoboa later on ambayo unaona sasa hivi watu wanaanza ku focus ndio unaenda ku invest mimi sasa hivi ninge invest dodoma dodoma ni kwamba huko ndio kiwanja nako nunua really kakaanga menua kakaanga menua na mimi nitaenda kununua Dodoma ni Dodoma. Mimi ningenunua mimi naambia Tanzania wenzangu tena nasema kwa Kiswahili msiwaambie wengine. Waswahili kwa Kiswahili tujiwane. Kabisa. <laughs> Dodoma. Dodoma. Dodoma skilizeni. Dodoma andikeni. Pemba. Mm-hmm. Pemba itakuja kuwa Zanzibar number two. Hata mafia. Ya, maf, mafia island lakini hapa shikiki ni, ni expensive mm. sasa yani kama una hela yako sawa nunua lakini kama huna hela sasa unatafuta mm. sehemu because leo sisi tunaangalia mali ya leo tunasema oh, mimi nataka mm. ardhi ambayo itanipa pesa leo no unaangalia kitu ambayo itakupa pesa baada ya miaka kumi unaangalia mm. kitu ambayo itaku, itakufanya wealthy wewe uko na maki 40 watoto wako wako sawa right mm. au watu ambao mnaona wako sawa leo walifikiria miaka kumi nyuma yeah. right ama miaka 20 nyuma so it's like mm. mean pemba Dodoma uh, ata Tanga Tanga ni pazuri wakianza mm. kupeleka treni pale itakuwa pia very speed kuna mm. sehemu gani ambayo nyingine ambayo tunaweza kuchukua hapa watu wakaenda nyi ambayo mko Tanzania mm. ah, Bagamoyo ni itali ni gharama nadhani kwa sababu uko ni kuzuri um, kimsingi for me hata Mtwara unajua Mtwara ni mbali of course lakini kwa sababu ya you know, ya bahari na mambo ya gesi na kila kitu nadhani mm baadaye hapo yani mambo yatakuwa yamebadilika sana yatakuwa mabadilika sana ni, 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 ni maeneo ya kuchukua viwanja mm. yeah hiyo na una, na unaweza kuchukua bei rahisi yani siku hizi hizo yani same mambo ziko nje unaweza kuchukua bei rahisi usidharau wewe yeah. chukua piga fence eka weka pale achi, yeah. Achi. yeah and then subiri sasa 10 years from now people 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 get your money there you have it <laughs> oh guys there you have it i think i think i think we have We, we we have discussed a lot about this topic. Yes. Nadhani yeah. ni, ni wakati wako wako close up au unasemaje bwana kila aga zoe. <laughs> uh, for real kwa mlicho kiongea inabidi na mimi nianze kukusanya boom langu nikanunue kiwanja. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Yaani kiwanja like is the biggest <clears throat> investment ambayo una not the, even the biggest is the safest investment that yeah. you can make. Mm-hmm. Yaani unajua kwamba hela yako kiwanja most likely haiwezi kashuka bei. Most likely always yeah. inapanda bei. Kila mwaka yeah. unapokwenda inapanda bei. Kwa hiyo yani hauna hauna kitu cha kukosa. Hata kama umenunua alafu baada ya miaka mitatu unasema ah sitaki tena. Hata ukiuza umeshinda tayari. How to rudishiwa hela yako ile ile utarudishiwa more than ile yeah. hela yako. Kwa hiyo kiwanja always always always. Kiwanja ukinunua leo kesho unaweza kumuuzia mtu bei tofauti. Yeah. How na ya kwenda Sweden au Korea tuko hapa tayari. Amesina tajas. Hakuna tajas. 
Mungu alipeni. Kwa kweli, mmoja na shangao. By the way, let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you guys something or something else. Kama mtu anaona ameshindwa hela kabisa, kabisa kabisa. Naona mimi sina hela kabisa. Kuna watu ambaye sasa hivi, by the way Tanzania ni katika nchi ambaye kwa western world, sasa mimi ambaye niko western, naona Tanzania imeanza kufufuka kutokana na corona. Kwa sababu nchi zote zilikuwa zimefungwa ambaye nchi ilikuwa peke yake katika nchi ambazo zilikuwa open ilikuwa Tanzania muda huu tulikuwa tuna wageni wengi sasa hivi nimeona katika hizi miaka miwili it's like huko nasikia yani kila siku nasikia kama ni rafiki zangu ni watu kazini Tanzania 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 imeanza kufufuka msilalie sasa hivi kama nyinyi mmeona kuna watu ambaye ni wazungu wanataka kujua kununua viwanja kuna watu wengi ambao wanataka warudi kule ama waende kule so warudi waende kule wa invest viwanja right because huku Ulaya watu wanapofanya wana nyumba mjini afu wanatafuta mjumba, nyumba vijijini wanakwenda gasama lakini mada wameshafungua macho wameshona ah kumba Afrika so so pabaya wanataka wauze hizi nyumba zao za vijijini wakanunue nyumba Afrika ila wana nyumba wao hapa mjini alafu vacation holiday wanakuwa wanakwenda Afrika sasa nyinyi kama mmeona watu wanakuja wananunua viwanja Afrika kama umeona umeshindwa hela kabisa unaingia partnership na mtu kama huyu because wa, wa western hawana haki ya kumiliki ardhi Afrika wanahitaji mtu wa kuingia nao katika mkataba yani mtanzania peke yake ndo anaweza kumiliki ardhi Tanzania kwa hiyo ukiona mzungu yani unaweza kufanya hata kama biashara unaweza kufungua office ya kusema sisi tunawasaidia kutafuta viwanja lakini tuna tunakuwa tunachukua percent fulani hiyo yenyewe pia ni biashara like unaweza kujiongeza akili like there's so many things either unamtafutia mtu ardhi ama unaingia naye kwenye mkataba ya hiyo ardhi zote mbili ni biashara ama unawatafutia for example mimi nimekuja kuona kununua kiwanja Afrika kama mtu ambaye uko nje ni ngumu because hatuzijui system za Afrika right unaweza kuwa na office ya kusema sisi ukija kununua kiwanja Afrika sisi tunakufungulia office kwamba tunakutafutia lawyer tunakutafutia eh, sehemu tunakusaidia na process tunakusaidia na hichi tunakusaidia na hichi hiyo pia ni biashara right like yeah. biashara ya ardhi ina sekta nyingi kwa hiyo na ina hela That's it you guys. All right. Mimi niseme maombi yangu nisema kitu kimoja mwanzo that ni kizuri sana na mimi niongeze maombi yangu ni kwamba natamani kila Mtanzania kila Mwafrika amiliki ardhi. Yeah. Yaani natamani sana kwa sababu huwezi uh, yani sasa hivi kwa nchi ambazo za Afrika huwezi sema zime kwa mfano mimi naweza nikasema nchi tajiri Afrika. Unajua ni, ni, ni nchi gani? Take a guess. Rwanda. Uh, kila gazo Tanzania ama Rwanda? Eh? Ethiopia. <laughs> yes, it's Ethiopia. Really? Na kwa nini nchi tajiri Afrika ni Ethiopia? Na hii watu wafahamu. Nchi tajiri ni Ethiopia Afrika kwa sababu Ethiopia ni nchi pekee ambapo kampuni zote unazofahamu, bank zote, ki, viwanja vyote, kila kitu kinamilikiwa na Ethiopia mwenyewe. Hata hakuna hakuna hata international bank in Ethiopia. Mm. Hakuna lakini like, nchi nyingine ukienda kama ukienda South Africa kama ukienda Nigeria ambazo unajua ndio nchi strong economy in Africa kampuni karibia zote unazo ziona zile big big kampuni ambazo zipo kwenye nchi zina zinamiliki na watu wa nje yeah. ambapo tax na kila kitu ndio wanazolipa lakini pesa zote zitakuwa kwenye nchi zao asa kwa nini nasema hivi nasema kwa sababu Afrika sasa hivi ni muda wa kuamka na kumiliki ardhi kumiliki vitu vyetu kwa sababu mpaka sasa hivi hapa Tanzania pia kuna maeneo mengi ambayo yanamilikiwa na watu wengine. Kuna mtu mwingine yeah. alikuwa naongea jana tu ndio anayeuza majumba ma, ma viwanja vingi huko Zanzibar si wapi na, na sio mtanzania. Sio mtu mtanzania. Sasa mm. hii ni kitu ambayo of course serikali mwezi siku lazima iangalie lakini pia sisi watu wenyewe wa Afrika wenyewe wa Tanzania wenyewe lazima tumke na tuanze kumiliki maeneo hayo. Mimi yeah. sina shida kama wa Afrika watakuja kumiliki ardhi nchini Afrika whatever nchi hapa Afrika sawa mm. lakini ukishaanza mwisho wa siku tutakao tupo kwenye nchi zetu wenyewe na bado tunakoloniwa <laughs> tupo chini ya ukoloni kwa sababu hatumiliki hata ardhi yani ardhi tunayokaa mwisho wa siku itakuwa ni ardhi ambayo inamilikiwa na watu wengine kwa hiyo so mwisho wa siku tumeshafika hapo tuko hapo yani tuko hapo ni kwamba tunataka tutoke hapo tuseme mwisho wa siku because tuwe wa kweli Tanzania yes. sasa hivi inamilikiwa na watu wa nje yani wachina wamebeba nje wa, wa, wa nani 
wa Hindi. India. Wa Hindi, wa China, wa Russia na wa Italy, mimi nimeona wako sana sana Afrika. Kwa hiyo wa kweli ni kwamba ina nchi yetu inabebwa wana. Yeah. And ni kama ulivyosema Ethiopia, hata Ethiopia ni katika I think it's one of the if not the only of one of the few African countries ambayo haijakuwa colonized. The, the, the only, only yeah. right? Yaani yeah. wa Ethiopia wame ah, tuchukue funzo. Wame, wame linda sana. Wame linda yeah. sana. Sasa hivi ninavyosema sasa hivi ninavyosema haviruhusiwi vitu yani hata nini kuna kuna vitu haviruhusiwi kwa mfano hii nywele sui nini haziruhusiwi kuingizwa nchini sui nini haziruhusiwi kuingizwa nchini kwa hiyo kinachofanyika wa, wale watandakazi wa ndani yani ukienda pale watu mikoba wanayobeba mimi kuna mpango hapa nimepewa zawadi umetengenezwa ngoni waonyeshe hapa sasa hii hii mikoba ambayo hata huko Tanzania tunayo ya ngozi na kila kitu sui huo sui viatu vitu vyote vinatengenezwa pale kwa sababu yeah. wamezuia yani wame kwa namna fulani kwa sababu walitaka waona kama uh, watu wetu mbona wanateseka ndio watu mm. wanachangia sana vitu vya nje lakini vipi kuhusu vitu vya ndani vipi mm. kuhusu wakulima wetu vipi kuhusu hao ma, ma producer engineers wetu kwa hiyo imebidi wafunge ili watu wa ndani sasa ndio wanapata nafuu yani wale designers na nini wanauza sana sasa mm. hivi vitu ambavyo ndio tunapigania sana sisi wa Tanzania wa Afrika kwamba kama Afrika unajua we, we come together we come as one na tuna fight kwa ajili ya watu wetu wenyewe na kuambia Afrika itakwenda kubadilika very soon mm-hmm. sababu so we have everything first of all we own lands we have we have all this knowledge intelligence we have smart people like that ambao wameishi kule nje wanaleta expertise back home oh my goodness we have other smart people like Kilaga mm-hmm. here ambao mm-hmm. hawajatoka nje lakini bado wana ufahamu na wana akili man anyways let's just end this Mika na ipenda fika jamani tusimpe pressure tuenda hapa. Ndio begi lako my brother, hilo begi lako kutoka Ethiopia ukilikompea na hili hapa. Hili hapa lina kama miezi miezi ngapi hivi lakini linaenda kuisha. Lakini ukiliangalia hilo begi ni 10 years zaidi ya miaka kuu. Yeah, ina quality. Na na ukiliangalia kwa nje unaona jinsi matilio yake jinsi alivyokaa. Yaani na linang'aa nzuri. Lakini hapo ukiliangalia ni kwa nje tu. Lakini hata mwaka ufiki ilishaisha. Alafu unajua tunathamini yani vitu vya nje ajabu. Yani ajabu tunafahamini vitu vya nje wakati vitu vyetu ni quality. Yani tunaona oh, kitu kitu local tunakidharau. Yani tukiona tu local tukamwambia made in Tanzania. Ah, you know. Nice. Tukiona made in China unafurahia. Lini tutaweza kuamka na kuanza ku support vitu vyetu wenyewe. Mm. Hata official clothes we have one designers wana design official clothes. Sio lazima unaweza kawea suit lakini suit sio haikuwa kacha yetu mwanzo. Lakini yeah. kuna vingi sana viko hapa kama data navyoonekana. Kwa nini usivae kama hivyo hapo ukaenda kazini? That's official right there. You represent. Absolutely. Your... Mimi naendaka kazini hivi. Mimi natoka jana nimetoka dinner nimetoka hivi. Watu wanashangaa. One thing I want to say pia biashara kwa wadada is like watu wengi ambao tumetoka nje for example mimi ni kwa mpaka mm-hmm. nirudi Tanzania nianze kushonesha na vitenge niwe na muda huo unajua unaporudi Tanzania tuna wengi ambao tuna tumetoka nje tukirudi nyumbani time timeiko fupi right kwa sababu tumetoka makazini huku tumeacha kazi tunarudi nyumbani kwa unaweza kusema wiki tano miezi miwili pingine una kazi pingine mtu unatafuta kiwanja pingine mtu una familia you know kwa hiyo ile kwenda kwa fundi kubishana na fundi kila siku hamna mara nyingine unabahatisha unatengeneza nguo mara nyingine hubahatisha lakini tunapenda nguo zetu biashara ya kutengeneza nguo kusema mtu afanya achukue hivi vitenge atengeneze nguo afungue website aanza kuuza nje ya Afrika jamani leo kuna shipping so lazima unapouza mtu ye pale pale Afrika kuna shipping unatengeneza nguo ambayo ina bei nafuu wewe pengine umetengeneza kwa fundi 1500 wewe unauza laki tatu nje tunanunua kwa sababu kwa nini sinunue wakati naenda dukani hapa naenda kununua nguo ni bei ile ile kwa nini sinunue nguo ambayo ni bei ile ile lakini ni nguo ya nyumbani right kwa hiyo hiyo pia ni biashara lazima tujiongeze na kuangalia vipi tutatoa vitu vyetu vya sasa so, so na kutoka nje kuingia Afrika sasa ni kutoka Afrika kwenda nje yeah. Right. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now, Dati. Tufunguke. Tunazungumza na 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 na
one thing wa Tanzania ambayo we not good at ambayo mimi nimekuja kugundua sana ambaye yani tukikweko huku tunaweza tukaona jamani tuseme kweli wa Hindi wana unasemaje ushiri, ushirikano ushinini like wako the, ushirikiano like wa Hindi yeah. wako wana ushirikiano wa Somali ndio maana unakuta kila unapokwenda wa China wana ile umoja ndio maana unakuta kila nchi wanapokwenda lazima utakuta restaurant ya Mhindi restaurant ya Msomali restaurant ya Mchina because wana, wanakuwa undugu ile wanakwenda wana pamoja wanafungua biashara sisi wa Tanzania nimeona hata huku tunapenda yani peku kwa peku yani mimi nikifanikiwa nimefanikiwa haiendi hivyo jamani lazima tuwe tunaungana mkono at least tu tunatengeneza vitu pamoja then wewe ukishamsaidia mtu mwingine unapata ile system okay mimi msaidie hivi 1 2 3 mtu mwingine anakuja na kusaidia wewe like think think collectively in this sense don't think individualistically in this sense lazima tuanze kusaidiana mimi sijawahi kuona restaurant ya Tanzania nchi zote nilio safiri hakuna nchi yote nilio safiri ambayo nimeona restaurant ya Tanzania and That's ina right. niuma sana lakini nisha kuna restaurant ya Msomali, nisha kuna restaurant ya Ethiopia, nisha kuna restaurant ya Mchina, kila kila nchi nayo kwenda, nisha kuna restaurant ya Mhindi. Yeah. Yeah. So that's something. Uh, All right you guys, tufunge session kabla tumpe kaka yetu Mika pressure hapa na Africa. Ore. Aita za kuongea hapa. Inabidi tuulize bei nikrize. Just finish this session man, just yeah. finish it man. <laughs> tazama video hii na kutoa comment kama kuna kitote kile ambacho unatamani ukiongezea unaweza kudondosha comment yako hapo sehemu ya comment na pia hata unaweza kaja ukatfuata hata kwenye mitandao yetu ya kijamii uh, kwa mfano uh, yetu hapo natumia suji na gani ili watu waweze kukufuata mimi unaweza kanipata in all social media platforms coach dati everywhere yeah coach dati my brother mika na mimi pia kama jina langu nalo liona hapo kwenye 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 tagline Mika Chavala that's me everywhere. Mm. Yeah, so hata mimi pia unaweza kunifuata mimi natumia tu Instagram. Uh, unaweza kunifuata kwenye Instagram natumia kama po jetini_tz. So thank you so much and leni kutazama video hii na kuna video pia nazo tuishazifanya nazo pia unaweza kuendelea kuzitazama na kutoa uh, michango yenu na kuendelea kujifunza zaidi. So thank you so much. Salute. Salute to all Africans. Salute. Yeah. Salute Africa. Thank you.